It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 177. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely equal host, <laughs> comedian Noel W. Herzog. That is me, a comedian Noel. <laughs> she is a uh, Sicilian python. I am. I hiss yeah. sometimes too. Do it. S- Do it for Shani Poo. Hi, Shannon. We love you. We hope you had the best birthday. S- yes. <laughs> um, we're here to talk about season nine, episode nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine of 90 day fiance. Mm-hmm. I don't like anyone. This is there's so much that's like not real. OK, this is what's bothering me. Mm-hmm. We're trying to analyze these situations as if they were real. Yes. And they're just not. So it's like you're trying to force me to lie to you. But that's what I mean just now. Uh, I'm obviously I'm not going to talk about it, but I was watching the last five minutes of it yeah. and Matt was watching it. He's like, Noel, he's like, this is like, I'm cringing watching yeah. this. Like this can't be real. Very bad. Last and I'm like, minutes. no, I know. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, but Hey, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Maybe we could just talk about something else from now on. Okay. I think people, the people would like it. Well, if you guys would like it, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Cause we do have a podcast where we just talk about other things. It's called BS <laughs> subscribe at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. And you will get all of our bonus content, which is well worth it. Yeah. This week we're going to talk all about our family dinner. <sighs> we're going to talk so much about Noel and her family. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. If you want all the secrets, <laughs> go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. All right, let's jump in the pool. Bilal and Shida. OK, so uh, Zaina. Yeah, Zaina, 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 Zaina. Zaina wants to learn some Trinidad dishes. Well, you know, it's funny because Shida just happens to have all of the ingredients. That's so weird. They are uh, presented in a bowl as if it is a chopped basket. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that works? That's so weird. She was going to make that exact dish for lunch. That's so weird. So she um, she's like, do you like, um, you know, like what kind of and she's like, oh, yeah, I want to learn a curry. And, and they're like, all, all right. Do you like salmonella covering your kitchen? Me okay. too. Well, guess okay. what? <laughs> they're all wearing merch. Every single one of them is wearing merch. Are they? I, that I didn't know. Yes, they're all wearing custom T-shirts of their liking. Give me a break. Uh, and. Bilal is not happy that they're going to cook. This is his worst nightmare come to life. Yeah, I wouldn't like it either. I'd be like, what is she going to spill today? All right. So, um, you know, Zaina likes to make uh, breakfast mostly. Uh Uh-huh. But she also likes to make omelets. Which happens to not be breakfast. I guess a lunch omelet. Yeah, (laughs) a a omelet. A (laughs) omelet. I love omelets. Or a omelet. It's a dinner a omelet. Uh, yeah, I figured <laughs> Matt calls that topsy turvy <laughs> night. Oh, yes, I know he does. This is yeah. um, yeah, that's around something. the horn. Topsy turvy. Yeah. There's a few things that I really don't like about your husband. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is going on number two. vocabulary is one. <laughs> this is going on number two. Uh, the first thing I don't like about your husband, number one, is that yeah. when he tells a joke, I told him this last night when he tells a joke, He won't say like, oh, I'm going to tell you a joke. He tries to make it like it's a story about him always. And it's just a street joke. And I can't take it. I never want to talk to him again when he does that. No, it's so bad. It's like this isn't funny. Number two thing that I hate about your husband is that he calls breakfast for dinner topsy turvy night. Uh huh. The other night we were going to the pantry and he's like, maybe I'll just just topsy turvy tonight. I can't. Nope. Divorce. What is this? That's instant divorce. You know, and (laughs) I would I would put that in the divorce papers. He says topsy turvy. Yeah. And you know what the judge would be like? What? Not only are you granted a divorce instantly, you don't even have to separate. You get the (laughs) whole you get every penny of his salary. And uh, yeah, you're you're going to get paid alimony on top of that. He's going to have to get an extra job just to give you all his money. Mm hmm. I just cleaned my camera. Things have changed. It's yeah, so much clearer. It is very clear. Who knew? Honestly, I think it's humid in here. I swear it was like fogged <laughs> up. I love it. So. Sh- uh, Shida says something insane. Uh, about what she wants the kids to call her. Are we up to that? Is that no, what no, no, no. Oh, she what? said that um, she's trying to teach Zena how to wash the chicken. And she says, quote, wash the chicken like you're washing your lady parts. Can you imagine? OK. And Zena's like. 
I don't even really like talking to you. Right. I don't even know you. Right. And now you're going to make like a weird lady part joke. And also, as she's saying that, what is what kind of chicken is this? Is this like like thighs, boneless, skinless thighs? Here's the thing. When she opened it, it looked like one small like roaster. Okay, thank you. And suddenly it was pieces. But no, I'm telling you it was pieces because I watched I watched Zayna take the rest of the bag without sealing it, put it in the freezer and put it in the freezer. And it's like, so you've defrosted the chicken. Uh huh. Now you're going to. OK, so now it was we dripping just, on the floor. I know. Okay. Can we get back to the wash the chicken like you're washing your lady parts? OK, that is disturbing. I would be like, I don't like you. <laughs> OK, did you watch how she was washing the chicken? Because right. I got to tell you, I take a shower every day, sometimes more than once, sometimes twice, sometimes three times a day. Yeah, I have never mashed my lady parts into a colander. No, it's called with my masturbating. <laughs> no, Noel, it's called some kind of assault. I know. I don't. I'm watching her do it. It's like who who washes themselves this way? She you was know? just knuckling it I into uh, the side of a. Well, what bothered me was is because like, all right, you're getting that everywhere. everywhere. And she just carried chicken juice on the floor and it's in the freezer. Your freezer is covered in chicken juice now, too. Thank you. Disturbing. Thank you. Uh, I'd Thank be like, you. I'm moving out. <laughs> <sighs> it was so crazy there's a reason why they say okay so this i read a lot about this right yeah because there's a lot of debates on if you should wash chicken if you should not there's such debate on this they say that if i mean i I was gonna say if you're gonna cook the chicken i hope you're gonna cook the chicken no one's gnawing on a raw thigh yes it causes more bacteria spread to wash the chicken in the kitchen yes yes than to just cook the chicken and you burn off all the yuck some people cook, uh, wash it. Some people soak it in like lime and salt. Sure. It just depends. Um, I think it just I think for me, it depends on what type of chicken. Thank you. I'm yes. not going to wash a cutlet, but I'm going to wash a whole chicken. OK, but if I take a cutlet out and it's like if there's a lot of juice on it, sometimes oh, I will rinse it off. anything juicy is getting rinsed. Right. That's what it rinsed, is. But I'm not knuckling I'm not it. Brillowing it. Right. right. Uh huh. Definitely not doing that. Um, when I do buy a whole chicken, I'll put like salt in the inside Me cavity too. and rinse it out. Yep. Um, but Noel, uh huh, she's doing like crazy things to it. I've never seen any meat that wasn't just killed in front of me get washed like this. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Also, she says to her, "You smell that smell. That's what we call fresh." That was she. Here's the thing. But everybody's like, I hate Bilal so much. You watch this and you think she's well. Everybody's watching is thinks like, oh, Bilal picked a dime and he's mistreating her. You think she's a normal, regular person? No. There no. Is, I would date Bilal a hundred times before I would date China. Okay. Do they even like each other a little bit? No. Because uh, they don't. The thing is, she doesn't like him either. It's not just him not liking her. No, they don't yeah. like each other. Mm-hmm. This is very bad. So now... Zayna is cutting this tomato with a dull knife. Yes. And she cubes. can't even, she, but she can't even do it because it's so mm-hmm. dull and it's not serrated. You can't just chop mm-hmm. a tomato with a knife that's not serrated if it's not the sharpest knife in the world. Yes. You have to have like a knife block there sharpening yes. it. Yes. Oh, God. So now we talk about how she doesn't want yes. her to call her her first name. She wants to be called Omi. And uh, she said that it just, it means mother, but that's more like in her culture. But in uh, Shida's culture, it just means old lady. Okay. So you just met these kids. I mean, it's been less than a month. You mm-hmm. want them to call you mother or old lady right now because it's disrespectful for you them met to them call twice. you by your name? You met them twice. There's something wrong with her. There is. And it's there like, is. it's um, she's very self-righteous. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not good. His like, daughter is so nice. I bet she could have such a nice relationship with her if she didn't try so hard, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I totally agree with you. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm telling you, I could get along with Bilal. Okay, I know I could get along with Bilal. <laughs> I, could definitely I, could, I want to live with someone like that. Yeah, even just as a roommate. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I can live with someone. I don't like want to kiss him. I need to live with someone that has 
that does not want to bring children into the house. Yeah. Does not do dirty things. Yeah. She, do you think I could live with her putting dirty silverware away? I please. Willy we're going to, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I can't nilly chicken all over the counters. Oh boy. No. Well, Zaina said that she's not ready to call her any. So you know what's going to happen? She's not going to call her anything. I know. That's no, she's going to call her sugar tits. Like you said, <laughs> <laughs> sweet cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> so she talks about like that. There's a lot of cultural differences and it's like, no, you're annoying. Yeah. You're just but also, weird. What are they making? I didn't get to see anything. Well, so that was the thing. It's like you went through all of this to show us your lady parts cleansing, but you can't right. show us anymore. I would rather a cooking tutorial. Did you notice that she put Summer's Eve in the chicken water? <laughs> Some Ogilvy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, God. No, no wonder it's it foamed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, so now 68 days to the wedding and she wants right. to shop she so they're driving with the kids right and it's a nice day out and she goes well if i would have known it was going to be so nice out we could have gone to shop for wedding supplies the kids look like they <laughs> have fainted in the back seat but like what is she talking about you don't even have a venue also it has to be nice out to shop for wedding supplies what kind of supplies she had wedding supplies and decorations you don't know where you're getting married. Oh, God. And what so, are you getting exactly? What are these supplies? Yeah. What are the supplies? I don't know. Yeah. So they take the kids out and she's wearing clear rape glasses in the sun. Yes. Yes, she is. Uh -huh. These are fake glasses made for an a abductor. You're showing me clear glasses, but they're not even as bad. No, Hers, she has like Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Yeah, on. yeah. Hers look like she was from the documentary Abducted in Plain Sight. She looks like B. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time I'm sipping a coffee is when you say the funniest I'm so things. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so he wants a prenup. OK. And she's, you know, so they go to um, they go to drive these electric scooters. Right. She just can't do anything, right? She doesn't want to do anything. All right. She says she very unsafe. Uh -huh. So he teaches her how. But I got to tell you, I don't even like how he talks to her. I guess. But, you know, she's not fun. I feel like she's such she's a not drag. Fun. She's also wearing Tim's and camo pants. Yes. Yes. With her merch shirt. Yes. Here's the thing. When I was looking for a picture for the podcast today, yeah. I came across some pictures of her. And it's almost like she did some modeling, but like urban. Mm -hmm. Muslim modeling almost oh, very like, specific yeah almost like she has like like a religious look to her but right yet with streetwear with streetwear right, right. <laughs> okay. it's very straight and there's a few of them like she wears like big hoops this that and yeah. I like the look but it's sure. like I think that's a look she's purposely going for yeah it's mm -hmm. not working so she almost died she saw God <laughs> she saw God uh huh because she's a BFB yes Mm -hmm. the kids are just like dad let her fall into the grass let her That's roll the down the hill to learn but let, let her roll down the hill into the river yeah she doesn't need to come back out it's good we're good this like you know, it'll be so sad if we never see her again bye wow. oh mom oh oh me i oh, loved me. her uh-huh <laughs> my yeah. mommy died uh-uh she said that she has to shine the spoons in Bilal's house and he's like you don't even wash them you have All to you shine have to them and wash, wash them. them. Mm -hmm. So he said, but now see, this is what I'm saying. Like, he's not nice to her either. Right. He's like, you know, even your mom said that you aren't great. And it's like, ooh, uh. I get it. But I think I know that Bilal sucks. I he think does. that Bilal would be a little easier on her if she was ever just fun to be around. She's okay, such a but drag. But he met her mm -hmm. and he chose her. Yeah, but maybe she was different back. I home. don't know if she was. I don't know. I really I don't. Something drew them together. Apparently. I don't know. I don't know. Tracy's looks dead in the eyes. I She's just like, I, I don't, don't know. I don't know because you I know don't what? see I, it. I really don't like how like these kids are at an age where it's like this is the most fun. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. This they is are the best time in your life. Yeah, this is I mean, to have yeah. children like like when you think about like having like a four year old, like yeah. I want to put a knife through my head. Me too. But if you were like, how old are the kids like 13, 16? Like they're I don't know. 
I the wish teenagers. that's like a dream to but, have like. But that's what kids I'm saying. Like, like I uh-huh. would be, I'd be doing best everything friends with them. With them. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, let's go to the mall and try on clothes. Uh-huh. No, well, she wants to have a kid. Uh huh. And she's not even warm to his kids. Well, that's the thing. She's she's strange. I don't know. They would love her if she was regular. But that's what I mean. She's young, too. It's not like she's like some she's old acting, hag. Well, she but she's acting like that. I know she is. Mm-hmm. She's acting like you, you guys like I'm the elder. You're going to respect me. These kids are so sweet. I wonder like what their mom is like. I wish we knew more of her. I would like to see her more. She's probably a lot better. I know than, she is. Uh-huh. She's definitely a lot better because yeah. and I'm going to tell you why she's a lot better. Why? And I know that this is like kind of uh, I'm stereotyping. I'm generalizing. I'm doing all these things. So Bilal is very sad about this breakup. Yeah. About the divorce. One hundred percent. He's still very sad. So that uh-huh. tells you that like she broke his heart in a million pieces and that she's very desirable, not even physically, but he wanted to be with her. Yeah. She left him. She left him mm-hmm. and she remarried and she had another baby and him. Bilal is still super nice to her. Mm-hmm. And it's like he must really respect her. Yeah, I agree with you on that. You are right about this. Yes. So that's why I think that. Um, yeah, I, the, from from context clues, I would assume that she's, you know, Shida is just um, she's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, I think we know why. Um, you were alone for a long time. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Maybe uh-huh. you should go and be alone. Bye. Go by yourself. You're in timeout. Mm-hmm. Timeout is so lonely. Timeout's so sad sometimes. But sometimes I just like a little timeout. I do too. And that's when I play Best Fiends. I love some alone time with Best Fiends. I do. You've already earned some fun, so have it. Best Fiends is like giving yourself permission to eat dessert first, which is... Noelle's favorite. I just love me some sugar. I know. With Best Fiends, an exciting, exciting puzzle adventure game, you can have fiendish fun anywhere, anytime. Okay. Um, let me tell you, when okay. I can't sleep at night, yes, I sit up. Best Fiends doesn't keep me up, but I play it because I'm up, and I play it for like two hours at a time, and it makes me feel so much calmer because I get so anxious when I can't sleep, and it's my favorite thing. I'm on level like 568. <laughs> I love in case you. you guys are wondering what's a going lot of on people, a lot of our listeners play too. I know. And a lot of people, if you're playing, make sure you're screenshotting your levels and mm-hmm. put, posting it in our group because we have so much fun talking about best fiends. I love beating a level. That's what it is. It's like well, so satisfying. Just that's beating your a level. personality. I love that. I don't need Wi-Fi to play. Ooh, that mm-hmm. is a good one. That's my on favorite. A plane. You can play on a plane. You can play on a train. You can play with green eggs and ham <laughs> <laughs> if you want. I mean, I don't know what you like. If to that's eat. your thing. Best Fiends is a free to download mobile puzzle game with thousands of exciting levels for new adventures and challenges. Every time you play, there are dozens of unique fiends to collect so you can customize your team of fiends to defeat menacing slugs. Ooh, they're also cute. They're super cute. You can power up your favorite fiends to new levels for even more powerful skills and watch them transform as they get stronger. With offline play, which is Noel's favorite, mm-hmm. you'll never be stranded without fun, even if you lose your internet connection. Brand new events and challenges pop up all year round, so you've always got a chance to earn exclusive in-game items, characters, and rewards. You've earned your fun time. Go to the App Store or Google Play to download Best Fiends for free. Plus, even earn even more with $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level five. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Okay. Speaking of fiends, let's talk about Jabri and Miona. Jabri. <laughs> so fighting. he's fighting with David. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're fighting. Um, They're what mad. do they call David? His, uh... his nickname? Docs? Oh, I don't know. Pacho, I Dacho, Pacho, Dacho, uh, Dacho, Dacho, mm-hmm. Pacho, Dax. And they're just <laughs> they're just fighting and they're angry. Like, don't worry about me a man. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man, because guess what? What? Dr. Spaceman is going to break it up. OK, also, though, mm-hmm. Brandy's butt. OK, I would think that that is um, not a gift from God. Yes, I thought it was a gift from a wallet. Yes, I think yes. this is a gift from the DR. Dr. Zizmore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Zizmore. When <laughs> I see this spaceman. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
all I could think about, I've talked about it, I think on this podcast before, 30 Rock, the doctor, his name was Dr. Spichaman, mm-hmm. but it was spelled Spaceman. <laughs> and it was Tracy Morgan's doctor. And he was having a, a, a episode. And he was uh-huh. like, they were like, Tracy, who's your doctor? And he was like, Dr. Spaceman, Dr. Spaceman. And they were like, sure, it is Tracy. That's very funny. And then they look on his prescription bottle and they're like, Dr. Spaceman. And they call him and he goes, Dr. Spichaman. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. So this is all I can think about. So David said, we can't even record because of Miona. And it's like, I don't think that's what happened. I don't think you can't record because of Miona, but I do think Miona got in the way of Jibri performing. Sure. But Jibri was like, let's perform now. And then David was like, don't text her. Yeah, I think everybody was just mad. I think everything was staged. I think David is like doing the most on yes. purpose to piss Jibri off. But I For think we like Miona, but I also think Miona is very controlling. Sure. So uh, Jibri just wants to get started. Brandy is annoyed. He slams the door in her face. I know. And Jibri is wearing his purse while they record. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. So I can't believe what I hear with my Tracy, ears. What the hell is this? I don't know. I don't understand. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, I trust the process, Tracy. And then mm-hmm. they play it back. And I'm like, don't ever trust the process again. I'm watching. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be something like black eyed peas, like yeah. something a fun. I think that's what they think they are. Yes. <gasps> that was so good. No. Right. Yeah, but that's not that is not what it is. What is David doing? What is Dacho doing? That's what an MC does. I don't understand. <laughs> Me neither. He just says things that aren't in English. And then but he, Jabri- he just says them. But Jabri's the lead vocalist. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Brandy's a dope rapper. He's dope. And David nope. Pacho, and Robot Nacho. Man just dances. I love that for a recording. Nope. <laughs> I love that for an audio recording. Me too. But what we didn't tell you guys mm-hmm. and what you'll find out soon because we're going to have a YouTube. We're going to put this on YouTube very soon. You have to go uh, in the show notes. We have a link to our YouTube. You have to subscribe to it. Uh, unless we get a lot of subscribers, we're not going to put it on YouTube. So that's up to you guys. Yep. Uh, you are, our fans will determine our fate right now. But when we do put it on YouTube, you're going to see that this whole time for the last five years, we've had an interpretive dancer. Mm-hmm. You just can't hear them. She's dancing right now. Yes, she's dancing um, <laughs> with her bangs. <laughs> she's banging. She's banging. Your mom is banging. Mm-hmm. So. I can't, I can't believe it. So no, now, I know it's so unbelievable. It's again, overproduced, stupid. Yes, this is the black eyed piece. So uh-huh. Jabri said that he's under so much pressure. He's like, sorry, man, I'm under so much pressure. Jabri loves pretending to be upset about things. Yes. Uh huh. All right. So now I don't really like his personality very much. It's a very bad one. That is why you don't like it. Yes, I don't enjoy it. It's an undesirable personality. Very undesirable. He's a soul sucker. He is. So Miona is wedding dress shopping in Chicago with Brandy. (laughs) Yes. Random. But they they, they're very good friends. They're very close. now. They were touring. They were in the same hotel. Very great. They were coddling. Uh huh. So. Brandy asks her about Rapid City. Brandy right. and the lady at the store because Miona doesn't have any friends and they have to have a conversation with her. There is a doggo that works there, though. What do you mean? There was a dog. Was it? In the store. Yeah, she introduced her. I think the dog's name. Yeah, the dumber's, the dog's name was Summer. And she introduced Miona Did to I black the dog. Out? Yeah, it was like um, he looked like, like a white Labrador. Oh, yeah. I loved him That's a like, big all dog. the way. Well, if you're going to have a wedding dress shop and you're going to have a dog in it, it's got to be white because you can't you're get not fur wrong. on the you're dresses. Not wrong. Oh, it was so cute. Oh, my God. What's I, w- I guess I wasn't looking up. So, yeah, because she w- went into the wedding dress shop. She had on like this cute, weird outfit, but I yeah. kind of liked it. And then she met the dog. Oh, well, she has no friends. So she tries on the strapless dress. That's un- I- it leaves a lot. It, does, to be it doesn't desired. do anything. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. She's a pretty girl, but it's like. I know, but I can't take the hair seriously. It just okay. it bothers me so much. It bothers me a lot. How many bundles have you glued to your head? But also, like, imagine what she looks like with her hair down. The difference. Why do you have to have that big of a ponytail? No why? one in his life has that big of a ponytail. But that's what I why for what? Aren't you no hot? one has no one has enough follicles in their head to make a ponytail that would grow that large. Mm-hmm. No, no one does. Yeah, it's stupid. 
<sighs> so now the band goes to a Serbian restaurant, their favorite Serbian restaurant. Right. Uh -huh, um, their favorite. Their favorite one. And they have some uh, Rika, Rika, I, Rakia. Rika? Rakia? I don't Rakia? know. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're doing shots because that's how um, they loosen up to talk. Okay. Well, men, maybe, I guess. I mm -hmm. have never liked Jabri less. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So he's mm -hmm. like, you know, man, I get creative at night and I have to be up at 4 a.m. And she's always like, come back to bed. Like, who are you? You can't control me. And it's like, you don't let this girl sleep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could agree with that because I just feel like you have to be up, up at 4 a.m. What are you room? doing? What are you doing? You're black eye peeing. Maybe he's writing. Maybe he had to get up to black eye pee. Maybe he had a black eye pee. Maybe he had to do black eye number one. Now, I like that. They go to their favorite Serbian restaurant that serve uh, traditional Serbian um, Shake Shack crinkle fries. Mm -hmm. I like a crinkle fry. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's talking. He, this man says so much and says nothing. Yes, I agree with this. And he's because like, he's like, maybe I'm making a mistake. He's like, but I love her more than anything, man. Also, man, you know, these vacations that we took, like they're last minute and they don't fulfill me. The, well, the only thing that fulfills him is performing, I guess. But what is he talking about? I don't know. He is. He likes to victimize himself yes. a lot. Yes. yes. But he's mm -hmm. not even talking about anything. No, he's just kind of like talking in circles. He wants David to feel bad for him. That's what it is. Well, I don't know. Like, oh, my God, we had to go to Paris. It was awful. I wasn't yeah. fulfilling to me. And David's like, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, we we booked it the day before we went. So it wasn't fulfilling. What? Okay. What? He didn't make a lot of it's sense. so weird. He claims he's burned out and life could be overwhelming. And many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, irritability, fatigue and more. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead to us feeling burnt out. Like, I think that, you know, having 90 days to marry some that you don't really know that's burnout. Absolutely. It's honestly, sometimes just keeping up with your house burns yeah. you out. Well, yep. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. I love using BetterHelp Online Therapy. Uh, Noelle loves using it. Noelle, why do you love using it? I love using <laughs> BetterHelp because I can't deal with sitting in traffic. That mm. was like my biggest pet peeve of going to therapy. And then sitting in a waiting room with other people, I just don't like it. It flips me out. I don't love it because I feel yeah. like it takes a lot of time. And with well, BetterHelp, that's what it is. It's like I, I don't have an hour to waste just sitting here. Sure. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It is much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you could be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash fiance. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. And as always, everything we talk about. It's in the show notes. It's in the show notes. Who knew? Who knew? I did. You did. And I did. Everyone we, I think too. we all knew, actually. <laughs> Speaking of show notes, let's talk about Kobe and Emily. Ugh. Ugh. 59 days. This is going very wow. fast. I like that. Honestly, I wish it was wedding day. I had a dream. You told me the finale was in a week and I was overjoyed. The dreams don't come true all the time, though. <laughs> but that was my dream he's driving a golf cart very mm -hmm. um william nilliam william nilliam mm -hmm. and she's like stop it <laughs> uh-huh so mm -hmm. they go to kelly and nicole's they're very old old friends they're just childhood friends and uh they're gonna go horseback riding this is their neighbor's house mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she's like we got to get a away my mom decided to agree to watch coben is that the first time ever She's like, we don't get out much because like we're home with Coben and stuff. And it's like, so take him out. Okay, You also live in a farm bill square, but then take him out. No, she can't. Okay. She can't. That's why they had to stay in a hotel the first night. I know that's true. So now she's hold he's holding the American flag as he's riding this horse. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what is happening here? Interesting. Uh-huh. Emily hasn't ridden in years. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh God. Um, And then. They they ride the horse. They hold hands, I guess, for a photo. He's going on his first pony ride. Right. This is unnecessary. This is, again, forced. This is very, very forced. This is it's very forced. strange. It's 
I feel like there's no chemistry with any of these couples. And it's like, I just want to see people like each other on this show, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, now we're talking to her, her parents and yeah. her mother is combing the dog like randomly, but in a weird way. Yes. Okay. Thank you. She's like, yeah, the dog yeah. doesn't like to get groomed. And it's like, dog that's... seems to love it actually. Okay. But also what are you doing? I don't know. Also, is this a stuffed dog? The dog doesn't even move like, at all. <laughs> Do they even have a dog? Right. So now she wants to ask them for wedding money and her parents already pay for everything. Right. Why do you have to have a wedding? But also her parents don't even want them to get married. They're like, you know, you have a way out, Emily. If like blink twice. Yeah. They don't like him. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. So um, I don't like her. I like him. I like him. Yeah. Her her mother said that there was a worrisome exchange when he said to shut the F up. I would have told her to shut the fuck up 35 times from the moment I met her. It was her. a very worrisome exchange. And then her father's like, Emily. So you're going to tell me in the 70 years they've been married, nobody's ever <laughs> said shut the fuck up. I guess not. nobody you've never cursed at your partner before you're lying. She's so annoying. Yeah. So they're like, what is he going to do for a job? He here's the thing. He can't work. So why is all this pressure being put on him? If he literally cannot work right now, why don't you be like, Emily, get off your ass. He can stay home. You can COVID stay home with the kid now. You go work. You can get an even not nanny job now. I just realized Binyam and Ariella weren't on this episode Thank you. just now. Yeah, <laughs> I liked it. I really Thank liked you. it. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so they want to know what he's going to do. But I got to tell you, I kind of agree with them a little bit. Just like what is What's his, his plan? plan? Sure. Right. So now Kobe and David, the father, are home alone and Kobe's scared of him. Uh, I know. And I it's he's like, he's a big man. It's like Kobe. You're a big guy, too. I right. news for you. OK. Mm -hmm. They have beers at the bar. They have beers at the bar. Mm -hmm. And this is where I'm like, Kobe, you got to at least tell a story that's not true. You can't do this. I know. He's like, so what did you think about your career career goals? And he's like, well, Emily suggested that I model again. But she probably did. I know. But Kobe, you, you're smarter than this. You are. You are smarter than this. It's like. He should learn a trade, maybe. Does well, he know any trades? He does know a trade. Um, he said that uh, he's like, David, you're an architect and I would like to work with you. You could train me to take over your company because I did civil engineering in my country with no uh, qualifications. When and I I'm tell not... you this threw me for a loop. And David got so mad. See, instead of him being like, I know. Oh, OK, Kobe. He got like personally offended. Well, that's the thing. Her parents are like dicks. Yes. And yeah. he was like, you're out of your mind. So then his if I father, was him, I'd be like, you could be the male guy at my company, something you can't help him with something. Right. Well, I mean, also, I mean, he did approach him and ask him to be basically the head. No, no, engineer. No, I get it. But if <laughs> and he probably never can. But I would be like, you know what? There's a place for you, maybe somewhere in my company. Sure. And if not, maybe I'll talk to the farms in the neighborhood. Maybe you can help out on the farms and work your way up to something or sure. learn things. You could try to no. help him a little bit. Well, he says, you know, I came here with four thousand dollars. And this is what the father said. Mm -hmm. Quote, it may be he said basically that it may be in some places, but it's not a lot here. And it's like, oh, OK, mm -hmm. there's a there's an undertone. There's an undertone. But there is, everything though. Says. Yes, there is. And it's like, I hate to always point it out but there is there's just an undertone and they look down on him and i hate it mm -hmm. but on the other hand yeah you couldn't google the exchange rate you couldn't ask Emily. do you and emily did you ever talk to her no. before you got here no no did you say like you know Who where are we gonna what live she what told are things no i guess so david's like listen you have to budget for covid what she also doesn't think that they're ever going to move out of her parents' house. But what does it mean to budget for COVID? I don't. OK, here's the thing. I Are you buying? Think, I think he said budget for COVID. Oh, OK. That makes at first I thought he said COVID, too. But okay. then I thought about it and I think he meant right. COVID. Not a great name to name your baby these days. No, <laughs> definitely not. Especially when you don't speak very clearly. Yes. Agreed. Mm -hmm. OK, so. Then he says something else. What? David. He says, quote, it's not party in the USA. It's work, work, work. 
And that's what made me hate him. Mm-hmm. You, mean, they're so not going to get by on love. Who the hell said they were going to get by? They don't on even love? like each other. But that's what I mean. And listen, Emily is an asshole. I think that Kobe wants to work. I think yeah. that he wants to. He, I don't think he wants she, to live I, you in know your what? house forever. You don't think that she told him my dad's going to give you a job? Of course she did. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. He wouldn't have just made this up. No. Mm-hmm. All right. So moving on to Patrick and Thais. So they have no hot water. Mm-hmm. I already have moved out of this house if there's no hot water for one hour. Oh, I haven't. I, I know you haven't. So yeah. she tracks his phone and he's going to take off the tracking. He's going to get her a new phone and never put the tracking on. OK, as he shouldn't. Sure. So now John wants him to take it off. It's like, John, shut up. I mean, also shut up, John. <laughs> so he gives her this gift at the table. They go out to dinner yes. and he gives her like lingerie. Mm-hmm. Did- <sighs> she thinks it's it- a dog. She thinks it's a cat. Yeah, she's really smart. Yeah. He put a cat in a box and wrapped it for you. And gave it to you at a restaurant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh-huh. Nice furry cat. It's my cat in a box. Also, <laughs> what time of year is this? This is right before Christmas. Is it, though? Because you said, I'm going to have to wait all the way until Christmas <laughs> for you to wear this. Yeah. Is it right before Christmas? It's probably though? like November. <sighs> Gross. All right. So. He tells her, like, listen, I'm not going to put a location on it. Why not just say nothing? Because I maybe she automatically is going to ask him for it. And then I would say no when she asked. So then we find out that Mm -hmm. he was hooking up with some other girl while they were together. And he also admits that they didn't sleep together because he was too drunk. And that's his dick. That's Uh it. That's all he said. Yeah. Make up a better story. I, well, that's the thing. Make up a better story. But, you know, he went to another country. He met Thais. They were for dating for minute. six months. And yeah. he's still talking to this girl. Yeah. I mean, listen, that's the part that would piss me off. But it's also like Thais checking his location 24 seven. Is not going to stop him from doing that? That's yeah. the thing. You don't know where this girl mm-hmm. lives. So also uh, Thais was like, yeah, and she was so ugly. And they're talking about ugly, ugly. OK, so now yeah. she said that she's very upset about this because her dad cheated on her mom. Okay. OK, I mean, listen, that sucks. What he did sucks. If you can't get over it, break up with him. Well, they're unpacking clothes. Yes, lots of clothes. And John is throwing a fake housewarming party. Yeah, this was the part I was watching with Matt. He's like, what is this? He's having a patty. Uh huh. Pa- he's so annoying. He's so annoying. So he's going to invite their work friends. Okay. And Chris shows up. Chris is their work friend. And he's like, bro, I bought these beers, but I drank half on the way here. Yeah. Chris and Wagner. Yeah. So they inv- they're like, yeah. And by the way, we invited more. We invited some broads over. Ding dong. We invited some vagina to come over. Yeah. We invited some chicken thighs and a colander. OK, but. <laughs> They're covered in lime juice and salt. Yeah, I'm so cute. That dog is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It fits in the palm of her hand. (laughs) So these girls come in Mm -hmm. and Patrick is super uncomfortable. Also, someone brings a Yorkie. The smallest one I've ever seen, too. So now they have uh, they meet the dogs. I'm excited. But they're having this fake party in the kitchen where it's like this is being filmed for like a sketch that children are doing. Yes. Of like what you think a party should look like. Yeah. It's so stupid. Like what? This is not a party. This they're doing stupid. shots and they're cheering in the kitchen. Yeah, this is like, I have to stay sober to make sure more people. I, I don't know. Don't come over. Yeah, what do you? Huh? What? So you take a half a shot of. Patron? What are you talking about? Yeah. So now she is like, Patrick, I have to talk to you over here. Mm-hmm. And he says, quote, <laughs> the girls here are very ugly. What is it with that? That's his go to. Great. You're doing really good, Patrick. I can't wait till the girls that got paid to be in this scene. Mm-hmm. These random four girls that have never met you or these guys and they're being paid $50 a day plus pizza and it's non-union. Yum. <laughs> Patrick isn't a bad guy. Patrick so Patrick's trying to overcompensate with everything yes. in his life with yeah. money and yes. things like this. And he also thinks that use is like a status symbol. Yes. So because he, he doesn't like himself. He now stay exactly. He now stands in the kitchen and they lick each other's tongues. Uh, very Courtney Travis. Yes. And now he wakes up in the morning mm-hmm. 
I know. Well, do you know what happened? What happened? He tested positive for a Patron shot. <laughs> wow. I know he was shocked. He was as shocked <laughs> as you are. Oh, God. It's like, what's going to happen with these two? Are they going to get married? Yeah, they're all going to get married. That's what happens. Noel. they all get married. OK, so every time I watch the show, I'm always like, this person can't get married. This person yeah, can't possibly do. marry this they person. Do. And then they do. Yes, this is a, what do you like to say? A crime of opportunity. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. It is a crime of opportunity. Yes, yeah. Tracy. Thank you. All right, let's move on to Kara and Guillermo. I hate watching them too. I do too, but the baby puppy is so cute. Chiqui. Oh my God. That what it, Chiquita, right? Is the I, dog? I don't know. They just call him Chiqui. Yeah. Oh my God. That dog is smiling the whole time. It's so park. cute. So now uh, they he's been here for a month and he just mm-hmm. loves Virginia. I got to tell you, I don't like him either. No. Okay. In the beginning I did. Uh-uh. Him and her both. Listen, talk. he has a nicer personality than her, but he is he's living a baby too. Well, that's the thing. He mm-hmm. he's a child. Yeah. So he's like, I love Virginia so much. It reminds me of, you know, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. beautiful. Right. Yeah, this is what no. I see on TV in um, the Dynasty. And- <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do. It's like I'm uh-huh. on Pawn Stars. I yeah. Love it. <laughs> right. Oh my God! It's almost like Storage Wars. Right. Oh, storage. Work. So he wants a, a big one. wedding for two thousand dollars. And here's the thing. He's not on Earth, but she's nasty. OK, my whole problem with this is the way she talks. to him. Yeah, because she's like, oh, what? You want to go see a venue and then you'll get your hopes up. But you don't like it. No, didn't think so. It's like, oh, I yeah, she's nasty. Her. I know she's mean. He said that he's like, you're not my mom. That was so she's funny. a bitch to everything. And he's a baby. Uh huh. Yeah. He's like, you're not my real mom. I say that to you all the time. I say that to my mom all the time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know my real mom. <laughs> so they go to King's Family Vineyard and they need to get married in July. Why are they walking so fast? Okay, but also you have to get married in July in Virginia in like a hundred degree weather. Well, they have to because they that's when the 90 days just go up. to the courthouse until it's they cold. don't want to. <laughs> I know, but they have to. Noel, this tour must be a running tour. <laughs> Because Kara is running in heels. She's out of breath trying to do this. Because she's also not, she doesn't want to be there. Right, but she's out of breath because this woman is walking so fast. I know. Like trying to keep I up. Know. She's like, yeah, I don't want to. Okay, this is. We can't this afford is, this place. <laughs> we can't afford this place. So he said that he's like, my mom, my mom won't let me buy a computer. <laughs> Even if it's with my own money. And I've been she saving my allowance. Everything. I've been saving my allowance for three weeks and she won't <laughs> let me buy a computer. All right. So the prices seventy five hundred for a weekday. Ten thousand for a weekend. And that's not including anything. That's just the venue. Right. Is that real? That is so expensive. No, that's real. I feel like I like even when I was looking at places like that's a lot. Mm, I mean, this is a fancy Mm -hmm. vineyard. Yeah. Mm hmm. But why do you have to take him here to like the fanciest of places? I mean, this is a show. Noel. Bring him to a night to Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, bring God. Him, like, bring him to something else. Bring, bring him to the Knights of Charlottesville. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's going to fight with her over something totally different. Right. Which that's where he lost me to. It's like that has nothing to do with this. He's like, you always make the plans. You make plans for me even when I'm not around. You say like, yeah, we'll go out with my friends. And it's like, well, what are you? What are you but then she's like, well, what, what do you want me to do? Lie to my friends. I'm always there for my friends. So if I say I'm not yeah, going to go, it's because of you. What? Right. And it's like, I don't understand what we're fighting about at all. But I will tell you, her accent game was strong in this argument. Tracy, when even when they were sitting in the park with the dog, yes. the accent. Oh, San Juan. It, it's like, what? Yes, yeah, San Juan. Your it's, mother, your mother is from San Juan. <laughs> it's very, very similar to Charlottesville, Virginia. But that's the thing. That's her you accent. You remember in San Juan <laughs> when they took these statues <laughs> of the white racist men and they knocked them down in San Juan, just like here in Charlottesville, Virginia, when there were the, the attacks on the on the minorities here. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't even know what kind of accent it is. Well, that's what it is. It's very just <laughs> what she thinks it should be. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but okay so you don't have any friends here Guillermo Kara yeah. makes plans for you guys are you gonna what he feels like he can't say no I guess you can 
Well, no, because she's like, what do you want me to say? You want me to lie to them and say, no, say I'm not going. it'll be you. Good. I'm not going. Tell them I'm not I coming. Oh, but she makes it like she intimidates him, though, too. Well, he said that he has decided that he will basically leave her if um, he wants to. Bye. OK. And he said that he's not going to do things he doesn't want to do anymore. And it's like, are you, this is a, an internal dialogue that you're saying out loud. Yeah. Also, I don't know. This guy isn't even like hot. Oh, I think he's cute. Like a child. No, because he looks like a kid. That's my problem. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah like he looks like a little boy. Like he looks like he, like his mom combed his hair. But he, OK, he still has a, a part. Yes, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> and it's not a fuck boy haircut. part. No, 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 it's no. It's a little kid. It's a squirt. Part. Yeah. <laughs> mommy did it. All uh-huh. right. Speaking of mommy, let's talk about Eve and Muhammad. These two out of everyone do not belong together. No. So 75 days to the wedding and mm-hmm. she stayed out too late and she's saying I'm not Muslim so she got home at 10 p.m. that was too late right but this is mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you what my problem with this is yeah she told him she's going to be home at 8 she comes home at 10 30 and he's like oh you told me you're going to be home at 8 Why and she's like you just, can't control me it, right just tell, just don't, what if you can't give a little call be like oh, I'm going to stay out later I don't think like she's making it because because he, he's Muslim. You lie to him. She's making it like he's asking for all these things that right. he just is expecting of her. But I think he's been telling her this for years. This is who I am. Well, don't spill the poison in the honey. <laughs> what? He thinks that her friends are turning her yes. on him. I mean, a little bit. Sure. But at the same time, like, Mohammed, you have a the, the deepest V T-shirt I've ever seen in my life. I could see your belly button. I know he's got on like a European V. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> he does. And she feels like she's losing who she is. He's been there for 15 days, my friend. And she's losing herself for, in two weeks. You've lost yourself. She said that his religion is too confining. She doesn't respect it. And he said that she doesn't respect his culture. And he mm. said that she, she, he's like, listen, You've known me for two years. You've came to Egypt. Like, why is this? Surpri- why is anything surprising? That's what I don't understand. He wants her to accept him. And she said, um, well, he said that she's wasting his time. Yes. I kind of see his point. Because I, I all the way see his point. Because it's like, you're going to be mean to him and just say mm-hmm. it's because your religion. And it's like, what? But it's not at all. You have no common courtesy because he's a Muslim. Right. But also like this is who he's always been. He's told you his expectations of you. You do not have to convert to his religion, but you have to respect his culture and his religion. And she's like, well, you're in America now. And he's like, "Okay." but that's like how Angela was, too. I hate that. It's like, what are you doing? It's very uh, strange. It is yes. very, it's a very strange dynamic. Yes. And again, do they even like each other? Okay. I think she really likes him. I do. I wish we saw more interaction of yes. him and her son too. Okay. Where is her son? Yeah. I wish we saw more of that also. Well, it's like the day to day. Well, that's true. And is he taking care of her son now? Well, that's what I want to know because he yeah. hasn't mentioned it again. I know. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, this has been a wild ride. Noel. Tracy, I'm ready to get off the ride. I'm ready well, to get off this ride. If you guys need a little break, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for all of our bonus content. Uh, you can join the secret group. You get a free sticker at the super duper trash talker level. There's a lot of things, a lot of benefits. Uh, just go over there, check it out. And you could follow the podcast at 90 day podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You could follow Noel at Noe girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And Tracy has all all of the information that you need for all of the podcasts and all of the merch that we have for sale. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because very soon you're going to be able to see our interpretive dancer. Ooh, I can't wait to show you guys that. That's the best part. Well, you'll never find out if you don't subscribe because we need at least 5 billion subscribers to launch our YouTube channel. Exactly 5 billion. Exactly 5 billion. So go and be one of the first 5 billion to join our YouTube. The link is in the bio, uh, or you can just look up Trash Talk Podcasts on YouTube. And also, Noel, mm-hmm. I've been using Bite to Straighten My Teeth, B-Y-T-E dot com. Use code Tracy19 to get your $19 impression kit and get started today. I wear okay. them just at night. You do. And you know what? Your teeth are looking very bite ass. Thank you so much. They I look so good. You. Thank you mm-hmm. so much. Uh, also, give us a five star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. And if you want to talk about this show or the podcast, make sure you go to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk on Facebook. We have a group on Facebook where you could discuss it and you could talk to us. 
Okay. Okay, bye. Bye.